Hello folks, I'd like to quickly show you the difference between view files, templates and themes for the TronGate framework. I've got ZAMP up and running here, you can follow along if you want, or you can just listen to the friendly voice and watch. This will be quite fast hopefully. I'm going to open up the TronGate desktop app and super quick, I'll make a new app here for my computer. And by the way, I do have ZAMP up and running. So I'll call this app Views, Templates, Themes. There's a long name. Okay. So it's going to suggest a base URL. We'll do a database. I won't really be using this though. But just to get out of the starting blocks, let me quickly generate an app here. Okay. So here's what we've got. Your app may look different, not to worry. And let's open up our text editor. For me, it's going to be sublime just because it's fast and easy. And I'm just going to open up the app that has just been created. It's called Views, Templates and Themes. Now, if you look in config here, uh, and please do give Trongate a star on GitHub if you haven't done so. But you can see that our default module is welcome, our default controller is welcome, and our default method is index. So if we go to modules, welcome, click into here, this is what's being invoked. So if we echo hello, a little die statement, you can see that it says hello. Now I am aware that I'm going fast, so you can just watch if you want, or you can pause the video or even slow it down. Now, let's do a little experiment. We'll change the default method from index to demo underscore view. I want to demonstrate view files being loaded, right? So I'm going to say function demo underscore view. I'll just echo here goes. Save and refresh and we get this. Okay, now, what I really want to do is show you a view file loading. So let's go into views and I'll make a new file up here and I'll just call this one customview.php. Okay, we'll save it. So that's custom underscore view. I'm going to do an h1 and I'm going to say my custom view file. How about a little paragraph? This text is being read from my very own custom view file, which is called, I'll do bold tags and I'll say custom view.php and save that. Okay. So that's a view file. Now, if we go into this demo view thing, and I'm going to say this. Now, when you say this like this, it means from within the containing class, we are going to invoke or load a view. And the name of the view is going to be custom underscore view. Now, we do not need to say dot PHP. OK, but we'll do that. We'll add in a little, little semicolon, save and refresh. And you can see that we've got this coming up. It says this text is being read from my very own custom view file. Now, sometimes if you are doing custom routing or some fancy URL rewriting shenanigans, sometimes it can be a good practice to say data view module is welcome, let's say, and then we can pass our data into our view file. And that can be a good idea as well. Now, this data array that we can pass into the view file can contain information. So we could say data first name equals, I'll just say David. And so inside the view file, I could do a little h2 and I could say hello. And then I'm going to echo so in this instance, we're passing in first name like this. And you can see that it says, hello, David. Okay. 
You can actually say out first name if you want. It's kind of optional, makes it really paranoid. But the key takeaway is that we are building up a bunch of data and we're passing this into a view file. Now, again, the view module is optional, but it can be helpful for situations where you're using custom routing, URL rewrites, and things of that nature. I think it's actually a good habit to just declare the view module anyway. But this is us, and we'll do a comment loading a view file. All right, now let's demonstrate a template. So I'm going to say, loading a template and we've actually got an example up here but it does no harm for us to do this ourselves so i'll say function demo template and i'm going to do the same type of gig again i'll say data view module is welcome so i'm just clarifying what module we're inside that's going to help the framework to locate the view file I'm going to say data view file equals, now we can use custom view, that's absolutely fine, we can do that. In fact, we can even have this data first name is David again, or whatever your first name is. And this time, instead of saying this loading up a view, well this time we're going to load up a template. And we will make a template called custom template. Now it does not exist, but we're going to make that in just a second. So we're going to load up custom template and we're going to pass in our data and save that. Okay. Now if you go to config and you say that the default method is custom template and refresh, it cannot find the custom template method. So let's go to templates. We're going to make this. So open up templates.php from within the templates folder. I'm going to copy this little beauty here. Don't worry if your code is slightly different. Maybe you've got return types and doc blocks type hinting. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to copy a method. And I'm going to rename it from public to custom underscore template. And this is going to load up a file called custom template. Where do you think that's going to live? Take a guess. That's right. It's going to live inside the views directory of templates. So inside this views directory, we're going to have a new file called custom template.php. This is going to contain some HTML. I'm going to do a little shortcut by saying exclamation mark tab. I'm using Emmet here, by the way. I'll change the title here to custom template. That's the page title. And just so that we really know that this is working, I'll say body has a style where background color is cyan. Okay. Now, inside this body area, I'm going to echo with short tags. Template with a capital T, colon, colon, display, and in parenthesis, data, and then close it off. And that means that this part here will be replaced with the content or the output, let's say, from our view file. So if we save and refresh, there you go. And there is our view file now being displayed, but from not a view file this time, but a template. So we're now loading a template that contains a view file. That's what we're doing here, okay? So that's view files, that's templates. But what about themes? And moreover, what are themes? Well, themes are basically templates, but the assumption is that a theme can sometimes be a little bit more advanced than a template. Not always, but sometimes. For example, a theme may have JavaScript files, perhaps for making menus pop out and things like that. A theme may have different color combinations that are available. A theme could have 
all sorts of things that make it just a little bit more, let's say, fancy than a template. Let's demonstrate this by going to config and we're going to have a default method called demo theme. We'll save that. So back over to welcome. We're now going to say loading a theme. So how does this work? Well, we'll say function demo theme. And it's going to be very similar to what we have above. So again, data, I'll say first name is David. Obviously, chuck in any name that you want. I'm going to say data view module is welcome. So I'm helping the framework to locate the view file. Again, I'll say data view file is custom view. That's our custom view file. And this time, we're loading up a template, but the name of the template is admin, and we're passing in our data here. Now, have a look at templates and look at views. There is no admin here, none at all. But I want you to save this and refresh, and you'll see that this loads up here. It may look slightly different. Look at this whole bunch of stuff. And where on earth is this coming from? Well, if you look at config, that's the config directory, you'll see a file called themes.php. And if we click into that, you'll see that there's an array here that's being set up or initialized. It's called admin theme. And then there's a themes array, which is called admin. And then we are defining themes as being whatever we have in this themes array here. So what that means is, when somebody loads up a template and says admin, now we can look inside our templates controller. Uh, well, Sure, you can see that we've got an admin that gets mentioned here. But if I go in here and just say echo, hi, little old die statement. Yes, it is loading up this admin method. But when it says load admin, so it's calling a thing called load, right? You can see there is no admin here. But because we declared a theme of admin, you can see that we've declared a directory and a template file. So what happens is, is the framework looks somewhere else. It looks, instead of looking inside templates, it looks at public, themes, and from themes you can see a folder that says default admin. That's our directory, default admin. So inside here, look at this, and there's a whole bunch of different colors. In this case, it's going for default admin forward slash blue, which is giving us, now hold on a minute, which is giving us this. If we said forward slash red, well, you can see that this down here has gone red. It's a little bit difficult to see here, isn't it? Uh, we've now got green, but the key thing is that this is a theme, and this theme can have its own CSS, its own JavaScript, or anything. Now, let me show you a slightly more advanced example of this. So, let's imagine we want to, and I'll use the Trongate desktop app, right? I'm going to modify existing app. Let's choose the app that I'm working on. And this time I'm going to get a theme from the module market. So I'm going to say create new module. I'm going to browse the module market. And I'm going to click on design templates. Okay. So here's a few different themes. For example, here's one that's called bootstrappy. So I'll click this. And it's showing me what you get. You can see it's a different look for the admin panel. Looks quite nice, actually. 
OK, so suppose we say we'd like this theme. So I'm going to click Get. It's going to download that theme. And then let me take you back to the app. If you look at themes now, can you see how a new theme has been added called Bootstrappy? And it's telling you where the default directory is. You can see that this particular theme's got some JavaScript, by the way. See how it's just a bit more involved than a template. It's also got a CSS directory. OK. So, this is the Bootstrappy theme. So what we're going to do, open up templates. And you can see this thing is so good. It has actually helped us out because it has added in a method that says Bootstrappy. So all we have to do is go to this welcome thing and where it says template admin, I'm just going to say Bootstrappy and save. Now watch this as we refresh. Oh, unable to find Bootstrappy. Uh, and templates. Ah, that was a typo. <laughs> Boot strappy. Save it. OK, here we go. And look at that, a whole new theme. And I, remember I was saying JavaScript? Look, if we click here, see the nice expanding menus? That's all of our JavaScript coming to life, even up here in these menus and everything. So you can see, my friends, that the theme is a little bit more advanced, a little bit more involved than just a template. Do you know what? I was going to end it there, but just because we can, let's add another theme. So I'll go back to the desktop app, create new module, browse the module market, and this time I'm going to use this cool Moby theme. You may have to search for it, but let me choose this theme. So it's cool Moby. I'm going to say get, and there we go. So now back to the text editor. If you have a look at themes, do you see how it has added in another theme? This time it's called Cool Moby. So all we have to do, and again, look at this, it's added it onto templates automatically. We didn't have to do anything. And now we'll change this bootstrappy to Cool underscore Moby. Let's save it. And let me refresh. And now we've got this cool Moby theme. If I actually inspect, right click and inspect, click this little icon here. The whole idea is that this one is optimized for mobile devices. Look at the beautiful slide menu. Now, by the way, if we go to themes, here's our cool Moby theme. You can see that this says black. Now, have a look at your themes directory. Here it is. And do you see how we've got all these different colors? So let's change this from black to orange. I'm seeing a directory that says orange. And save. And look at this. Now we've got an orange theme. How about purple? Let's see how that looks. Purple. Save. And there you go. And of course, you've got other colors as well, such as green and blue. It's all here. We'll try green. And there it is there. OK, so I hope that helps and I hope that you now have some idea of the difference between view files, templates and themes. Don't forget, themes are a bit more advanced. They've often got JavaScript, CSS files of their own and all sorts of other things. That's the key thing. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And if you enjoy using TronGate, please do consider giving this framework a star on GitHub. It's all we ask. Cheers.